Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Today, what I am hoping to do is let you know what's in the box for the latest and greatest, well, I don't know about greatest yet, latest expansion for Disney Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances. This is the At The Ready expansion. Now, I will say this is an early pre-release copy that I was given by the op, so thank you, the op, for that. This game is actually coming out, or this expansion is coming out at Gen Con. So this is going to be a nice early look at this, and you can find out what you have to look forward to for the latest expansion for Disney Sorcerer's Arena from the op. So, At The Ready contains three new characters, as the previous ones. Here we have Mulan, Robin Hood, and Mrs. Potts. Robin Hood being one of my favorite movies of all time, my first Disney movie. Really looking forward to checking out these characters. So first thing's going to be first, I'm going to have to crack the shrink. We're going to drop down to the table and take a look at what you get in the box. Here we have it, the box for Disney Sorcerer's Arena, Epic Alliances at the ready. A first look at this. Again, I still appreciate the fact that if I put my games like this, I can see it. If I put my games like that, I can see it. And if I store it this way, that's just like one of those little things, right? Store your games vertically, store them horizontally. Love it. All right, QR code to play the, the, the video game, the digital version, comes in every one of these. We have the first expansion, it, and what I want to see here is, do we have any new rules? No, no new rules this time. So just the rules for constant abilities, which if all you own is the base game, it is a new rule. These are abilities that are always in play, as long as the character is still in the arena. If they're knocked out of the arena, it's no longer available. So no new things, no new tokens, it looks like, and no new status effects. So... I think this is the first one to not at least have a new status effect. So we do have additional copies of some existing... Look at how well punched that is. It just fell right out. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's like tokens everywhere. So we have additional copies of existing skill abilities. We, of course, have a blank status effect tile um, in case you lose a tile or you want to make up your own. Um, then we have Robin Hood. Ooh, nine health. Nice. Again, both sides. I like that this is blue or... That's a nice touch for a bonus. Um, this strong technically fell off this, and this tough fell off that. And Mrs. Potts and Mulan. I gotta say, with no new rules, this could be a great first expansion pack. So we do have our standees. We're gonna get to those last, because I don't want to have you watch me fight with the, uh, the film on these for too long. So we're gonna start off. We have Mulan. Standard 2-2 movement. I'm going to read off her skill here. She deals two damage to an adjacent rival if it's also adjacent to two of Mulan's non-token allies. So it's interesting to see non-token allies because tokens were introduced in one of the other expansions. So it's good to see that carry over into the new characters. And she can also aid allies. One adjacent ally with two or fewer health recovers too. So we got a bit of healing and extra damage dealing, but it does require some coordination. Looks cool. Now, as I've done in these previous unboxings, I'm going to let you discover this ability on your own. So then we move over to Robin, another 2-2 for the standard stats. His is Marksman. Discard an attack card to give Robin Hood's standard attack range 2 until the start of his ending phase. Very cool. Ranged attacks being added in by discarding them, and he has a constant ability. Whenever you gain one crown, exactly one, and Robin doesn't have stealthy, he gains stealthy. Very thematic. And again, I will leave you to discover his upgraded ability on your own. Then we have Mrs. Potts, who is a two, but only a one attack. Her standard attack is only a one. Her skill is set the table, draw a card, then put the card from your hand on top or bottom of your deck. That could be huge. That is a huge control ability, hand management ability, and deck control ability. I love it. Um, constant ability is tail as old as time. Whenever you draw a card on your turn, you may reveal it. If it is a Mrs. Potts card, if you do, move the active character one spot. What's interesting there is that happens even if it's not Mrs. Potts' turn. Very neat. All right, here we have Mulan's cards. Robin's cards. And Mrs. Potts cards. Now, I am not going to go through every card and show you everything in here. Well, I'll flip through them quickly, but I'm not going to read them all off. I'm just going to look at the general thing. So this is um, giving characters interesting. So Mulan can give other princess. Is she a princess? I should have looked at keywords. I did not look at keywords. 
Mrs. Potts is a hero in Kingdom. Robin Hood is a hero Kingdom forest. And Mulan is hero Kingdom princess. So yes, we have another princess. So she can give a princess character strong or deal damage or and sorry, it'd be both. So we've got a few of those. We've got a soldier strike that deals damage, but then removes status counters. I'm not going to get into all the details again. Choose a rival so many fire spaces away and fire fireworks at them. Only one of those. Choose an adjacent rival, reveal cards from their deck and deal damage based on what are there. So there's a nice anti-attack deck card. We've got archery training, swift assembly. Each character can move, so it moves everyone, not just her. That's awesome. And then another gain tough. Looks like a great control and damage character there, but also has some healing. Moving on to Robin, I expect lots of ranged attacks. We have a range to do four damage. Wow, can't be reduced. That's the first time I remember seeing cannot be reduced. Then we have Trick Shots, only a single one of these. A lot of single use cards. This is another one of those straight line deal damage. Again, I'm not gonna give you all the small details. Just kind of showing them off here. Choose an adjacent rival. If the, the opponent has more crowns, remove Stealthy from Robin Hood. Robin Hood gains one Stealthy and get an extra movement phase. Deal damage. Oh, we got a couple of those. Three of those. The Full Quiver. Deal damage to a rival and draw cards. Cut Purse. Outwit and Split. Choose one adjacent rival. If there, So a whole bunch of cards that are based on if your opponent has more wealth than you. And I gotta say, that is an awesome thematic tie-in. That is really neat. You literally have the steal from the rich going on. That is really cool. Now, if you do head over to the Ops website, there are previews of most of these cards already up there, and I'm sure they'll all be up there once the game is fully released. So now moving over to Mrs. Potts. We have a move in this and in, in, in damage, but what I like here is if this card is discarded during an ally's turn, the ally heals. So it's a great card to combo with those characters that make you discard cards to do things to actually add some healing. There are a few, a couple of those. We have Chipping Away that does damage to a rival, but banishes the top card of their deck. So again, this is going to combo really well with other cards that banish cards. I once played a game with my partner where he had almost nothing left in his deck after me banishing so much. We have Time for Tea, which is a move and adds status counters. So affecting the existing status counters in play. And again, if this card is decided, remove things. So another discarded ability. So neat. It's like you want to pair up Mrs. Potts with someone who pours out the tea. Maybe that's the thematic tie-in I'm getting here. Um, move to space, choose a rival if this card is discarded. So a whole bunch of effects that are if this card is discarded, if this card is discarded, if this card is discarded. So emptying out your hand. So I, in my opinion, I would think pouring out the tea from the teapot. I, I dig it. That is neat. So there you have it. A quick look, not a detailed look, a quick look at the three new character decks in the At The Ready expansion for Sorcerer's Arena. Now all we have left to look at are these standees, which always look amazing, but I hate the film. Thankfully, you only have to remove the film once. All right, here you go. Here are the standees. Look at how cool Robin looks. Still one of my one of my all time favorite Disney characters. And Mrs. Potts with Chip, technically. And Mulan. Sorry, trying not to get the reflection of my webcam in there. So there you go. We'll lay it out here quick so everyone can see it all together. There you go. Right there. Everything you get in this box. Instructions. Punch boards. Technically, there's also this. In case you lose one or you don't have enough of a type, you can fill out your own blank card. Everything you get with, at the ready, Disney Sorcerer's Arena, Epic Alliances, the expansion available at Gen Con 2023. There you have it. What comes in the box for at the ready, 
the newest expansion for Disney Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances, the Disney Skirmish, Disney and Pixar Skirmish game from the op. Um, looking great. Some characters look fantastic here. I, I'm so impressed by how the designer has been able to tie in the theme of the characters to the cards. Uh, that, that is what blows me away. Uh, the stealth with Robin, the abilities that are steal from the rich, it punishes a player who has more victory points than you do. And the Mrs. Potts pouring out her cards, it's discards. I love it. I love to see how each new character uses the mechanics in the game in a unique way to make them feel like their Disney Pixar equivalent. That is just fantastic. I am really looking forward to getting this to the table. This will be available at Gen Con. And thanks again to the op for giving us the opportunity to take an early look at at the ready for Disney Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances. Now, when I do finally crack this open and get it to the table, hopefully as soon as this weekend, unfortunately, we got a lot of things going on this week, so it's going to have to wait till the weekend. I will be sharing my thoughts on social media, where you can find me everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. And of course, eventually we'll be doing up a review, which you will be able to hear on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can also watch on YouTube, and which we stream live on Twitch, 8 p.m. Wednesday nights. Finally, you'll be able to check out a written review over at TabletopBellhop.com, and I think that's enough self-promotion for now. So thank you very much for joining me for this unboxing video. Good day, and game on.